Trevor, make it count. Please don't get cut, all right? Don't worry, I got this. Stay calm, relax, and chill. And here we go. <laughs> all right, you guys. I just got an information that a yacht is transporting some huge tons of gold to another city. I got all the plan ready of how we are going to steal all that gold. But there's one problem with the tight security of SWAT teams, and it would be impossible to sneak up on them. And if you could do it, 75% would be yours for the taking. So what do you guys say? Yes, now you're talking. All right, all right, Countess and Simeon, bud. Let's steal all that gold. What? You gotta be kidding me! No, don't you dare count me in. Have you got some kind of a death wish or what? You know how hard that would be? I don't want to risk my life, so I'm out of this. What the hell, man? Stop acting like a coward. Of all the peoples, I never expected this from you. Don't be a chook, Michael. Can't you see this man is offering us 75% of the heist? What else can you ask for more, huh? I don't care if it's 75 or 100%. I don't want to get involved in this cop shit anymore. And heck, I don't want to drag my family into this as well. You know how this always ends for us. Hell, but if you still want to do this, then go do it by yourself. I won't stop you, but please just don't get me involved okay, in this. Okay, it looks like you guys don't want to do this, huh? No problems, I guess I will say some other men who has got the balls to do this, unlike you. So what are you waiting for, asshole? Go get lost. I don't want anything to do with either of your shit. Hey, 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 Simeon, sorry about that. Just wait a minute, he will do this. I'm gonna make sure of it. Don't count us out. I will talk some sense into him. Hey, Mikey, bud, come on, let's do this. Can't you see we have good opportunity to earn some good money? Hey, but I can't do this by myself. You're the only reason why we have come so far. Just let's do this one time, and then I will never force you, I promise. That's enough, Trevor. Stop this sweet talk. I know what you're doing. But if this is the last thing you want me to do, then heck, let's do this thing. Oh, yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now no one can stop so us. So what's the hold up? You guys are good to go, right? Then let's freaking do this. Stay in cover, sugar. So this is the yacht. We gotta steal, huh? Yep. Shifting the golds would waste a lot of our time. So Simeon set us to steal the whole yacht. Alrighty then. Do this. He looks busy with the girl Trevor. So let's take him down first. And then we sneak it all right. Okay, let's do this. Don't worry, Mike, I got this. Sorry, sweetheart, but you have to go down to good night, sweetie. Oh, I've been waiting. Well done, Trevor. It's time for me to sneak in now. I got this. Come on, Trevor. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, come on. Rise! Still got it! Sure. Let's go, let's go. Come on, just a little more to go. I got this, I got this. Let's go, let's go. Come on, T. What the hell is let's going roll, on? Fuckhead. Damn it, they have noticed us. This is bad, ah. real bad. Ah. 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 Come on, get up. I'll make a fuck off. Really? Want some more? Make this a kick in the pants. Wasn't that fucking job? Looks bad. We are under a tab, everyone. Protect the golds at any cost. Don't you dare let those guys get away. Everyone, prepare for the battle and follow Snooka. Go, go, go. Get going, everyone. All right, everyone, you heard the man. Let's go and mess those fools up. Stay down, you bastard! You got no chance, so stay the fuck down! Alright, I can hear Michael! I gotta make him be lying over there. Oh. Shit, there you go! Oh man, that was too much! Well done, Trevor. You did really amazing. Alright, meet me at the backside door, where the gold is stored. Okay, sure thing. Meet me there. I gotta hurry up to the golds before any of their backup shows up. 
Let's go, let's go, Michael. All right, we are here at last. Good job, Trevor. You did good by taking more of the SWATs. Of course, don't worry about that. Hey, Mike, so who's gonna control the yacht? Is it gonna be me or you? I will control the yacht. But first, let's go inside and check on the golds. You see, Simeon was sounding like this was just a rumor. So let's go and confirm if this was a rumor or what. Before stealing the yacht. Stop right there, you bastards. Don't you dare move a foot. Stay right where you are, or else we will shoot the life out of you. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, officers, we won't back down either. After coming so far, if you shoot us, we will shoot you back. So it's better that we talk this over. You don't want to end your life for us. Now, do you officers think about your kids, your wife? What's going to happen to them, huh? Who's going to look after them? Just think about it. Oh, just shut the hell up. We have heard that one before. Do you think you're talking too? You guys are outnumbered, you just two. And we over here are number of four. Don't you know, man? What if Matt? we are outnumbered? If we die, we take some of your cops with us. And then their family will blame you for all their loss. And you won't be able to oh, leave that with that so... guilt. No, 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 Trevor. How dare you bastards. I'm gonna kill you just all now. Just shut the hell up. I just hope you have... Keep on moving, you bastards! Hey, You're hey, going hey, to jail, hey, officer! Please don't squish my hand like uh, that! I, 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 I don't feel so good. Who am I? Where the fuck is this? Damn it, Trevor, this is all your fault! You're the reason why we are here in this prison. What did I say to you about not stealing the golds? Look, we just ended up in jail just because of your stubbornness. And that bastard Simeon, as soon as he knew that we are caught, he tilted his ass back to some different city. And now we have to suffer all the consequences of his doing and your doing. Yeah? 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 Just shut the hell up, Mikey! This isn't Simeon's fault! This is all your fault! You see, I was busy in handling the cops, and you just had to follow all the cops' moment. But no! Instead of that you were so busy in some shit that you didn't see the officer who was behind us, you're the reason why we are in just this hellhole! Just shut hell the fuck up! You're the one who got your ass knocked first! And that wasn't my fault! You should have been aware of every situation, but you failed to do that. You're the weakest of our entire team. This was all your fault, asshole. So stop blaming on me. I have had enough of you. I can't take any more I'm of no your shit. I'm no longer finding this so funny. What can you do, huh? Oh, it's about yeah, time yeah, that I knock that. some shit into you. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got, old fool. Come on, let's get this show started, you piece of shit. Screw all of ya! Come on! Fuck you! Ain't this a kick in the pants? You have done it now! Mikey, <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you! <laughs> what in the hell's going on? What's this fuzzing shouting all about? Hey, 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 look over there, officers! <laughs> those fools have broken <gasps> loose! Oh, How dare they fight in the prison? Let's go and stop those fools before they kill each other out. I'm gonna destroy you both. This is no place for fighting. You have broken the rules, and you're gonna pay for it. That was a fine shot. Maybe they should keep you off the hook from fighting. Spend your life in here for a few months. And then only then, I guess you will realize your mistake. All right, officer, now. let's go! There's no point talking some sense into this losers. Let them suffer in this hell known as prison. Hey, Michael, you bastard! This is not over between you and me! How dare you pick a fight with me! You just did the biggest mistake of your sorry life, and I will make you pay for that. Just remember, this isn't over until I say it's over. I'm not gonna stop until I ruin your life into an hell. Yeah! Yeah! You Fucking can't do yeah. anything, you old perv! Just stop acting tough, cause everyone knows you are a pussy. That's the reason why you aren't still married. But still, if you wanna fight me so bad, then why don't we settle this once we are out of the cell, you bastard? And later the cops informed Michael and Trevor's close ones, and that would be their family. Michael's family knew what he had done. 
and they wanted him to complete his punishment in the cell. Cause Amanda had no choice but to accept the cops. So let's see what's gonna happen next. Many months later. All right, five months are up of your imprisonment. Since you failed to capture the yacht and golds, we will let you go now, cause we wanna make everyone better by giving them a second chance. And that means for a criminal like you guys too, you have suffered five months of prison. So I hope that would have yep, made you learn right. some we lesson. we learned our lesson the hard way. But we wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for a weakling in our team. This is all because of this damn moron standing next to me. He is the reason why I had to suffer all this months of jail, and I really despise oh my you good for that, Lord. Michael. I can't believe you. You're still holding onto that thing. What kind of a loser are you anyway? Instead of moving from the past, you're still holding a grudge. I thought the prison might have changed you, but it looks like you're still the same piece of shit from five months ago. No, I'm not holding a grudge. I'm just finishing what you started. Remember what you said five months ago in the prison, that you would settle this by fighting me. So let's do this, you bastard. Yeah, I said that, but I don't want to fight you anymore, you know. The prison might have not changed you, but it definitely affected me. So I'm out of this, Trevor. And heck, what happened that day wasn't my fault. I have said you once and I will say it again. It was all your damn fault. Nobody disrespects me like Alright then, if you want to do this, then let's fucking do this. How dare you just apologize for your mistake, Michael. And I promise we will move on with this. You gotta be kidding me. That wasn't my fault. So why in the hell should I apologize? It should be you who should be apologizing to me. Fucking you! Hey, 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 guys, stop! What in the hell is wrong with you? Please just stop this bullshit at once! Just shut up and don't interrupt us! Punch me and my officers! It looks like five months of imprisonment is not enough for you fools! So you will suffer up until plus to three years for punching us! We will now make your life a living hell now! Just you wait and watch, you bastards! Wow, this is so cool! Tracy is really gonna love this! And it's all thanks to Simeon! I never expected him to just hand me! This car in just one million dollars. All right, boss, I've tracked him down. He just entered his house with the new car, just like you said. Yeah, I knew it. All right, homie, keep a close eye on Michael. Don't let that bastard get away. You see, that bastard has purchased the car for her daughter, and I'm sure that they will go somewhere out for the test drive. Then is when you attack. Michael being with his daughter will make him weak. Yeah, I know that, boss. Don't worry, I've got my number on him. He ain't gonna get away. Oh, yeah, now that's the spirit. Don't you dare kill him. Bring him alive, me and the boys have got some score to settle with Yeah, him. sure thing as you say, boss. Wow! This is so cool! Thanks a lot for this oh, car, yeah. Dad. You yeah. are really the best. Man, yeah, oh man, I love this. Yeah. Just look at this Come car, on. it's top notch. Thank you for this wonderful go, gift, go, Dad. Go. <laughs> I'm glad that you love this. Nothing makes me more happy than seeing you happy, my sweet. Everything I do is for you, Jimmy and Amanda. I really love you guys with full of my heart. All right, I guess that's enough. Hey, Tracy, here you go, the car keys. Take good care of it. Of course, I will, Dad. Hey, Dad, if you don't mind, can I take my car for a long ride? I just want to check the car at its fullest. Yeah, sure thing. After all, this car now belongs to you and you only. So yeah, you can do anything that you want. There's no reason to ask me, sweet. Go and enjoy yourself, baby girl. Oh, come on, Dad. Not with that baby girl tone. I'm 23 now. It doesn't matter how big you get. You will always be my baby girl, and I really love you. Yeah, even I love and respect you just like you. And once again, thank you for the car, Dad. You are really the best. Goodbye now, see you later. Yeah, goodbye, my baby girl. And hey, don't you overdo it. Take care of yourself by now. All right, all right! Just like how Boz expected, they're off for the drive. Just need to follow them and take them down. I better keep some distance or Michael will notice me. A little distance will do it. Yeah, this is just fine. All right, you bastard, Michael, you're going down. After what all three of these fools did to our boys, they're not going to get away with it. I'm going to make sure that every single one of them pays, including those bastards Trevor and Franklin.
A few moments later. Something is really wrong here. This car has been following me since I left home. Uh, what the? What in the devil is going on? Help! Someone please help me. All right, I finally got them. Now it's time for payback. Hey, Michael, don't you dare try anything stupid. Or else I will shoot the life out of your daughter. So what? She is all alone! Damn me! I never expected her to be alone. Guess boss and I was wrong. I should have maintained my distance a lot closer. Damn me, damn me! Who in the hell are you? And what do you want from me? And how do you know my dad's name? I heard you saying Michael. What is this all about? Why are you after me? Oh, just shut up, lady. We don't have any business to do with you. The only thing we are after is your dad. You know what? Start running, or I will shoot the life out of you right now. And hey, you better tell your dad that Jack stole your car. And if he wants this car back, we will be waiting for him in our streets. Now, come on, start running. Don't you dare make me shoot you. Just go away now. <laughs> and that was total opposite of what I expected. Oh, well, nothing can be done now. I better take this car because I'm sure he will come to get revenge on her daughter's car. And when he does, we will make him pay. How dare he mess with purples? We are going to give him a beating of his lifetime. And as for my car, I will pick that later. When we are done with this Michael problem. For... That was real scary. It's best that I got away when I did. How dare he rocks my fabulate car. This is all because of Dad. I better inform him about this. Hey, hello there, baby girl. Are you enjoying your long ride? No! I'm not enjoying any of this. And this is all because of you, Dad. You always pick fight with someone, and then later we are the ones who always pay for it. A guy named Jack stole my car and he even was threatening me. That bastard really got me, Dad. Those damn ballas! How dare they bring my family into this? They have really went far. Hey, Tracy, tell me they didn't hurt you right. If they did... Then they are effing dead! No, he didn't hurt me, I'm fine! Okay, okay! So where are you anyway? Tell me your location, I'm coming to pick you up! I'm in Waynehead Hills, backside of the Galileo Street. Alright, wait right there, baby girl! Dad is coming to pick you up! Yeah, sure thing, Dad. Those psychos ballas have crossed the damn line! And most of all, their co-leader, Jack! I'm gonna find him, then hurt him. He is not gonna get away with this. I'm gonna make sure of it. But first, guys, let's go and pick Tracy. She is in Waynehead Hills. All right, I'm here in Waynewood Hills. Now, where is Tracy? Um, where is she? Get over there, got her. Hey, baby girl, get in, let's go. Dad, what was that all about? Why are these creeps after you? I thought you were done with this gangster thing. Come on, you gotta explain me everything. Yeah, okay, okay, I will tell you everything. This all started five months ago. I, myself, Franklin, and Trevor. We were returning from a good old nice trip. And when we were heading back home, we were so excited. And in that excitement, we lost the car control and crashed Franklin's car into a car. And unfortunately, that car belonged to the ballots. We even apologized to them, but they started a fight. It's just like that, we all started fighting each other. But that day, the cops interrupted us, and none of them wanted to go jail. So quickly, we escaped, and even the ballots escaped. We thought that was the end of that. But unfortunately, we were wrong. And some days later, those damn ballas came at Franklin. And thanks to Chop and Yogi, we found yeah, out yeah, you're that doing Franklin. Good. Oh yeah, I can understand you clear and crystal. Go on, go on. Okay, I got that. And then me and Trevor quickly went to their hideout, destroyed every ballas, and freed Franklin from them. But looks like it's still not as ended. The race cycle is repeating and repeating, and now they have turned this rivalry into an effing goal. They want to hurt us so bad, that we don't even think of picking a fight against them. That is what those fools are trying to do still now. Wait a minute, what's going on over here? Why are these many cops over here at one place? Something is definitely wrong. Hey Trace, look, it's our car. And it looks like our car is in a real mess. This looks real bad to me. Hey officers, this isn't my car. I promise. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's what I'm telling you this whole time. You robbed this car from this gentleman over here. Damn, this looks bad. Hey, Tracy, the officer is heading towards us. Don't you dare open your mouth. Just leave the talking to me, baby girl. I got yeah, this, Yeah, okay? Dad. After all, this is what you started. So you better deal with them. 
Hey, what are you guys doing over here? This is a no restricted area. So please get the hell out of here. Just get going already. Hey, officer, we are sorry about that. But can we ask you what's really going on over here? You see, it's this damn Balas again. They stole that yellow BMW car from that gentleman standing over there. And now when they are caught, they are refusing and telling us that they didn't steal that car from him. Those fools are just lying for no use, because they know they are busted. Hey, hey, hey! That's Michael and her daughter. Couldn't have asked for a better timing. Hey, officers, look! Those guys are the ones! We stole this car from them. Look, they're standing right over there. Not another lie, Jack! Who do you think we are, a fool? We ain't gonna buy your crap just like that! No, I'm not lying, officers! These guys have really gone nuts! You're blaming everyone just so you can escape! They look innocent to me! But still, what are they doing over here? Hey, officer, ask them if they know anything about this car. Hey, guys, do you know anything about this car? Don't you dare lie to us. Now tell me, have you seen this car before? Does this car belongs to you? Because those ballas are blaming you. So tell me now, have you got anything to do with this car or not? No, oh, officers, no, I don't know what they're talking about. These guys are just lying and blaming everyone else. Just so that they can escape from this situation. I bet even if someone else was standing here in my place, then they would have said the same thing to them as well. You know how these ballas are, ain't that right, officers? And in fact, this is the first time I'm seeing this car. Standing here doesn't mean I'm the culprit. Yeah, 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 officers. Mama, my dad is right. Those guys are just lying to you all. Sorry for that, guys. Hey, officers, they don't know anything about that car. Those fools are just lying. Just arrest them and let's get over with this. We can't waste our time in small cases like this. We don't have all day just for one car case, you know? Yeah, you are right, officer! We don't have all day! We saw the documents and everything, and this car really belonged to this gentleman standing beside me. So, Ballas, this is it for you. Your asses is going to jail now! I'm gonna bring my motherfucking pistol out, idiot. You bastard, don't you dare! Try to hurt them! How dare you! Try to hurt civilians right in front of the cops! You have really crossed the damn line, you freak! Please just stop hurting him! Man, fuck you, pigs. You think you got it all because you got on that uniform? Take off that uniform, bitch. Hey, officers! You're really messing with the wrong people over here. This won't be good for you later, I promise. Time for your beatdown. I will destroy you! How could you even think of threatening a car? You all lives are about to be doomed! You're going to jail, SOBs. And just like that ballast fell victim to the cops, and now Tracy and Michael were safe. The car really belonged to Gabriel, because he had the bill and all the paperwork which belonged to that car. But what's with this Simeon thing? Because he was the one who sold that car to Michael for one million dollars, with no documents proof at all. Something is really fishy, and Michael's gonna find that out. And there goes my Faburay car! Dad, I never expected this from you. How could you even gift your own daughter a stolen car? I thought you have changed, but it looks like you're getting worse and worse by time. Hey, Tracy, please don't think me wrong. I promise I never knew that was a stolen car. I guess that's the reason why he sold that car in just one million dollars. That bastard Simone really made a terrible oh. mistake by fooling me like that. He's gonna pay for this. Just you wait and watch, Tracy. I will prove you that I'm innocent in all of this. All right, I'm here. It's about time that I knock some sense into that snake. There's that bastard Simeon. He is going down for good. Simeon, you bastard. I'm going to kill you. Hey, 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 wait. Please stop this, Michael. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, I beg you. Just hear me once, Michael. Just shut the hell up, you snake. I should have known better. You will never change. You're still the same sucker as in the past. Please hear me shit. once, Michael, please. What have you even got to explain? After pulling a stunt like that on your friend, you are a venomous snake. I started trusting you, but it looks like you're still that same sack of shit. Hey, I'm sorry, Michael. I had no intention of selling you that car. You see, when you came to my shop, you were looking for a good car. And I saw that you were really amazed by that yellow one. And I knew that it was a stolen car. I just repainted that car in yellow. And I was afraid that the cops would catch me anytime. I was not able to think what to do next. And when I saw that excitement on your face after watching that car, then I quickly sold the car to you making less as one million dollar. Then later I realized that what I did was wrong. I should have never let my boy stole that car. 
I thought to tell you, but you were already gone. And I didn't want it to ruin Tracy's surprise. But then again, I thought that Los Santos cops are dumb. They won't be able to find that car. So I just let it off go and started my day as usual. But it looks like I was wrong about Los Santos police. I'm sorry what I did with you. Please forgive me, Mike. They both are the same. We just got lucky that the ballast stole that car. Or else we would have been in jail instead of them. Just thinking about that makes me feel uneasy. I hate you, Dad. I hate you. I'm heading back home. Goodbye now. Enjoy with your good friends. No, no, no. Friend. Please wait, Tracy. I'm sorry, baby girl. Please come back. Damn you, Simeon, damn you! You have ruined everything between me and my daughter! Man, I feel like killing hey, you. Hey, 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 please don't hurt me anymore! I can't take this. I know what I did was wrong, and I'm gonna make it up for that. So what, huh? Are you gonna cry and brag about forgiveness? Is that how you're gonna make up for this? No, not like that. I know what I did was wrong, so I'm gonna make it up the right way. You see, it all started from a car. So in order to solve this, you can take whichever car you like, and it will be all free. In this way, you can gift this other cars to Tracy and make up with it. Oh, okay. But tell me this cars are not stolen like the last one, right? No, these are not stolen. This car are legits, I promise. All right, then I guess I will take this red Ferrari. Tracy really likes Ferrari. Maybe she will even forgive me after seeing this car. Take good care of it, and once again, I'm sorry. And goodbye, Michael. Yeah, whatever, you bastards. See you later. All right, I better go and fix things between me and Tracy. I hope that she forgives me and accepts this car. So this is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Let's just hope Tracy accepts this car in next episode and amends with Michael. Those bastards are going to pay for this! Most of all, Michael! I will destroy that bastard once I get out from this cell! And heck, I'm gonna get my revenge on these cops too! How dare they humiliate us in our own hood! I'm gonna get them all! Just you wait and watch! Hey, big bro, it's quite a sunny day today. Don't you think we should have some fun instead of standing here? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah! Wow! Oh my god! Just look at that car, big bro! That's some next level right there! Hey, hello there, honey. Where have you been? I was here waiting you for so long. I was busy with something. Well, sorry for being late, sweetheart. So how have you been? Is everything good? Yep, everything is good, honey. So what's the plan, eh? Are we going somewhere out or just relaxing in my house? You got a plan or what, honey? Yeah, I got a place in mind. And we're gonna have some real fun over there. Just you, me, and the scenery. Just thinking about that is making feel good. That car is just amazing. Man, I love that so much. That's freaking cool, ain't that right, Jimmy? Whoa, Big Benjamin bro? really loves that car, right? And he really looks up to me as well. So I gotta do something for him to make him feel good. All right, then I got a plan. Hey, Benjamin, I see you really love that car. So how about we steal that? Just you and me like our dad. So what do you say? Are you in for this or what? Oh, Jimmy, bro, no! How could you even think of this? We got no chance in hell! You know how this always ends with our dad! I don't think we are ready to pull this off! Uh, don't you worry a bit! I got this! Our dads were noobs! I'm a pro when it comes to things like this! You look up to me, right? So don't worry, just have faith in me! Yes! I definitely look up to you! And if this is what you want, then hell yeah! Let's do this thing! Alright then, that's good! Now hear me out, Benjamin! I need to go and stall that girl! And in the meanwhile, I will knock that guy out! Just do whatever and keep their attention on you so that I can sneak up behind them! Yeah, I got you! I will stall that pretty lady and that guy! Just do your thing, Jimmy bro, and please don't get caught! Let's go, sweetheart, we are getting late! Hey, sis! Can you please tell me where Daniel leaves? You're from this street, right? Please help me! I have been lost! He sent me to come here and now I can't seem to find him anywhere! Maybe I'm in the wrong street! Oh, that's too something... bad, little guy! Yes, I'm from this street and don't you worry, I will help you! Really now, Kokoro? Can't you see that we are getting late? Hey, don't you dare say that! We can't leave this kid to wander around just like that! Now can we fill up? Just give me a minute! I know a kid named Daniel and he lives in the next lane, so let me help him! Thanks a lot, sis! Alright! Well done, Benjamin! Night-night, bro! It's time to get the F out of here! What the hell? Who are you guys? 
Hey, Philip, get up. Come on, please. <laughs> Thanks a lot for helping me to find Daniel's sis. Damn you, Goodbye bastards. Now. Damn you. Hey, Kokoro, would you just stop crying and call the cops on this? J-Dog gone done it. The fat kid's only gone and done it. What are they shouting? Oh, man, BJ, that was awesome. BJ. We really pulled it off. Hey, Jimmy, bro, you are really the best. Those bastards are going to pay for this. How dare they steal my car? Hello, this is 911. What emergency uh, service do you require? We need cops. Please send cops to our Thank location. Is it Police me? officers are en route to your current location. All right, honey, don't worry. The cops are on their way. Everything will work out for now. Let's just stay relaxed. And later, Philip and Kokoro asked cops help on this, and the cops showed up to the location scene. But now what's gonna happen? Will Jimmy and Benjamin get caught for what they did? Or will they escape keep watching to find out? All right, out? you guys tell us everything. Tell me the car model, name, the color, everything that you know about the car. And yeah, tell us their identity too. You saw who stole your cars, right? Tell me the height and age. Yeah, we will tell you, officer. The car was Drift Tampa, the color bright orange. And yes, for who stole that car, I just saw one guy. I couldn't see the other one because he knocked me out from back. But I saw them both, and I still can't believe this. How could such young kids even think of doing this? I guess this might be bad influence of their father. Officer, one was around the age of 13, and one was in his 20s, I guess. The kid drew our attention towards him, and the other one sneaked up on us. What the? They were just kids. What has this city come to? All right, don't worry. We will find them. We will alert every officer that whoever sees Drift Tampa with bright orange color to stop and inquiry them. They will not get away, you guys. Just stay relaxed. We will get them. Just wait for our call, okay? All right, officer. Let's go now. Let's get those bastards. Okay, officers. We will wait for your call. And thanks for helping us. Yeah, sure thing. We will get them just to faith in us. Damn me, damn me. This is all my fault. They used me as their guinea pig because I look weak and innocent. If I wouldn't have fell for their trap, then your car would have still been here. Hey, hey, Man, hey, sweetheart, I'm please sad. stop crying. Nobody's blaming you. It's all those damn kids' fault. You don't have to worry, just stay chill. A few moments later. The cops spotted the same car with the same color, and they quickly started a chase after that. And little did Jimmy and Benjamin know, their life was about to flip upside down. So let's see what happened next. Oh, I don't want to go to prison! Do something and get rid of them, Jim No, 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 no! Oh, crap! This sucks! Oh, look, damn, damn, damn! Consider yourself arrested! I'm arresting you! Hope your ass is ready for all those big boys. The greatest country on Earth doesn't take kindly to criminal scum. Damn, they are really some kids! Alright, then I better up my guard! Better not underestimate them! Alright, kids, get out of the car! Put your hand back and get the F out of the car now! Okay, okay, we will do as you say, officer! Please, just don't shoot us! We are sorry, just do it hurt us! I don't want to go to prison! I don't want to die! I need help! I think I prefer video games to the real life! Wait a minute! Looks like I've seen their faces from somewhere before! Yep, I'm sure about it! Hey, 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 officers! We are sorry! Please don't hurt us! We are sorry for what we did! We will never do this again! We promise that! Just let us go, please, Oh, yeah, please. I remember who they are! Like father, like son, eh, Benjamin and Jimmy! I see you still haven't learned your lesson for the last time, huh? Oh, yeah, I remember who they are now. Thanks for the reminder, officer. I guess the women was right all along. The father bad influence have gotten into them. I forgot about the crimes hey, officers, cause Franklin and Michael we are sorry for what we did. All that incident. We really are. Please just don't hurt us. All right, then hands on your back. Get moving, get in the car. Don't you dare try anything foolish. Like running, just go and get in the car. We promise we will not hurt you. Damn, what have we got ourselves into? Man, this really sucks. I hate this. I promise I will never rob someone else. All right, well done, officers. The criminals have been apprehended. Thank you for all the efforts. You all did really good. Now you can go back to your assigned jobs for today, and once again, thank you. All right, Officer Sean, let's go and hey, take that drift tampa as well. We gotta return that car back to its owner. And just like that, the cops arrested Jimmy and Benjamin. So let's see what's gonna happen next. Will Michael and Franklin do something to get them out or what? Keep watching to find out. And later the cops brought them to the police station, and then even called the car's owner. 
so that he can collect his car back. That exactly serves you, right? You bastards really deserve this. All right, let's go, honey. I don't want to see them anymore. First, they robbed our car, and they even ruined our date. Let's go. The cops will take care of them. Yeah, that's right. Leave them to us. We have informed their parents about this. They will be here any moment, so you don't need to worry about them anymore. Thanks a lot, officers. You guys are really the best. All right, it's time to go home, honey. Yeah, sure thing, sweetheart. All right, kids, now speak up. Why in the hell did you do this? Come on, tell me why can't you just change yourself for a change? Come on, tell me something at least. All right, you guys don't want to speak up, huh? Then wait for some minutes. Your families are going to be here. Then I'm sure you will speak up. Benjamin! Oh, Benjamin! What have you done this time? Jimmy, Jimmy! Why the hell did you do this? Man, Speaking I was never expecting this Look, kids, from it's you. your family. Jesus! What is wrong with you? Why, Benjamin, why, why, why? I thought we were done with this shit a long time ago. Prick! Loser! What's wrong with you, Benjamin? Why did you stole the car? This isn't like you, man. Look now what I've got yourself into. Stealing someone ain't good, Benjamin. You gotta understand this place. Just let's move on. Don't Jimmy, you dare you do fool. this again. Are you done, huh? Your mom and I are better than this. We taught you better. But look, you have ruined all of our repetition. But I know for a fact that this stealing thing wasn't your idea. I know how stubborn of a brat Benjamin is. I bet he is the one who forced you to do this. Ain't that right, Jimmy? Come on, tell me. It was Benjamin's fault, right? Bullshit. What the? Hey, Michael, just shut up! You don't know anything about Benjamin, so stop making assumptions. He has changed a lot from the last time. Just because they both robbed doesn't mean it was all Benjamin's idea. They both are guilty for this. Ah, shut up! Don't you dare try to teach me anything. You know how much of a scum your son is. So stop blaming my kid on this. It was all your kid's fault deep down. You know what I'm saying is the you truth. You bastard. I never pointed a finger on Jimmy alone. I said they both are to blame for this. But it looks like I was wrong. I guess it's all Jimmy's fault. And deep down, you know that too. Back what you said. Or else I will hurt you so bad that you will never think of arguing me again. No, you take back what you said to my son, or else I will destroy you. Hey, 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 oh, so just stop acting like guy. kids. Right, How could you even hit. think of fighting so at a time like kids. this? I don't think I'm tough. I'm tough, you bastard. Take back what you said to my son, or else I'm gonna make you take that hard way. Yeah, yeah. All right, then come on, hit me, because I'm not taking anything back. Show me the hard way, Franklin, oh, come on. Oh, Let's oh, see what you're all about. Oh, 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 Hey guys, please stop this! It was our bull's fault I offered him the ID! And he accepted the idea. We both are too blamed for this. You fools, instead of making them understand anything, you guys are busy in your own fighting. How dare you fight in a police station, huh? Just don't you dare make me angry. I don't like arresting kids, so I will let them go off this time. But consider this as your last warning. Now pay the fine and get going already. And if they do something wrong again, then Michael Franklin, you both will be arrested too. So keep that in mind and change them for good. Yeah, we totally understand you officers. Sorry for all of this. This will never happen again. We will pay the fine just like how you said. We are really sorry about this, officer. We promise we will change them for good. And yeah, I'm sorry as well, officer. We will never ever fight in a police station again. Thank you for letting all of us off the hook. We will pay the fine just what like you said. What do you mean you that you said. will never fight oh, in a police station time. again? Does Those that mean you will fight somewhere else? All really I meant funny. was don't you dare fight at any place. Talk? Just stay yeah, out of yeah, fighting and for you guys. Don't you oh, dare you this again. Or well, the next time I will put your asses in jail. Yes, sir, I promise this will never happen again. You have made your point. And I totally get that. And after paying the fine, they were all freed. But this was their last warning, including all for Benjamin Franklin, Jimmy, and Michael. They all really get on my damn nerves. It's best that I just let them go. I don't want to deal with cycles like that. They're really a big trouble. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Amanda, go on. Take Jimmy back to home. I got something to take care of. Hope you understand. Get out. Sorry, please. Just forgive me. Yeah, don't worry about it, son. It happens, just stay calm and All relax. All right, may my sweet get going. I will catch you guys later. All right, sweetie. But make sure you get back home before the dinner. Sure thing, sweetheart. Mom, I'm really sorry about all that. I promise I won't do it again. Yeah, okay, Benjamin. I'm glad that you realized what you have done. Just don't do that again. A few moments later. Franklin, you bastards just accept that it was all your son's fault. And we will get over with this. No, didn't you hear them? Like they were both has changed guilty between for them. this. Instead of talking sense into their childs, they are here fighting. Oh, well, so this is up for today, guys. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, goodbye, peace.